Man, oh man, wait till you see this stuff that I found. It is really cool. First off, we're on my homepage right now, markbuller.com. And <clears throat> on the homepage, actually I actually have it on a couple pages, but on the homepage, I put a spe special code in the widget area. And it looks like this. It's going to take a second to load. This is called YouTube Direct Light. Here it is, right here. Um, you can see my username. You can see this upload tab with title, description, category, and choose a file. You also have my YouTube videos, which if I click on this, I'm logged in, my YouTube account. It's going to show my videos, and there's a submit button. I'm going to show you this in a little bit more detail in a second. And then also there's a webcam tab, which I don't have a webcam hooked up right now, but it's, it's going to give me the option to record from webcam if I did. So what is this thing? Well, this is called YouTube Direct Light. Let me back up. <clears throat> okay, so here's YouTube Direct Light. And what it is, is it is an interface. Um, it's code that you can put on your website. And it's an interface that allows anybody to either upload a video to a playlist of yours or add one of their own videos or record on a webcam uh, a video into a playlist of yours. Uh, and they can do it right from your website. So this is not on YouTube, but it's using YouTube. Uh, and then what you do is uh, you need to either host it on your own site, which is the more complicated way, or you can use what they call reference implementation, which means that you just use um, a website of theirs and it gives you code and the code is very simple. It's just like YouTube code and you put that into your site. So let me show you how that works. First off, I'm at YouTube Direct Light and I will provide a link for you but uh, because it's a little long but it's code.google.com and a whole bunch more but uh, you can also just Google search it YouTube Direct Light but I'll provide you with the links and then you go to this uh, YT Direct Light app spot thing so I'm gonna click on that and that's a different link that they provide you and I'll give you that link as well and what it is does is it's very plain and I'm logged into YouTube but it's sh showing me on this page my playlist that I have created. So here are all the playlists that I have in my YouTube account. I can also create a new one if I want. Um, if I click on one of these, let's find a good one here. There we go. If I click on one of these, what it's going to do is it brings up a couple tabs. It brings up embed codes, pending, approved, rejected, there are zero videos rejected because I haven't, nobody's uploaded any of these, and I get to decide. I also get to approve them. Um, since I, I chose uh, the playlist that I already had videos in, here are the videos that are, are basically they consider approved. Um, here are some that there's nobody, nobody uploaded anything, but if they did upload something or submit something, it would show up here in the pending tab. And then we have the embed code. And the embed code is very simple, it's an iframe code. And what it does is, if you look here, it's asking for playlist. So this is the playlist code that you would find in YouTube. And I, uh, then you can also choose the height and the, and the width. And that's why it was kind of sticking out of my widget area. Yeah, if you look at my widget area, it's, it's, it's hanging off of it just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, I put it on a page. So what's cool about the page is you can fit it onto your page. You can fit text up here. I just have something very basic. Hi, everybody. Submit your videos to the YouTube Marketing Playlist. The best submissions will be granted access to one of the largest, most popular YouTube marketing playlists in the world. whoop de doo And so here is the information. So what does it look like? Uh, I'm logged in to my YouTube account, so this is what it looks like. So what does it look like um, when you when I'm on another account. So let me show you that. So this is another YouTube account of mine. I went to the same website, my site, and here's what it looks like. See, this is a different user. So I had to log in and um, and then I can choose, I can choose if I want to upload or whatever. So um, if I wasn't logged in, all it would say here is log in. That's all it would say. It's pretty generic, but um, but you know, you can do stuff with the, on the page. You can put it on a page. You can put it wherever code is. People can upload their own stuff, and so how would you use this? Okay, so for one thing, you could um, have a playlist that's for all testimonials, and people come to your site, and you say, I want I need a quick testimonial from you. Let's do it on a webcam, or create one on your phone and upload it. But it, they say, I don't know how to do that, or I don't want to do that. All you need to do is say, go to my site, and they can either do it right from the webcam, 
or they can do it by uploading it, choosing a file, and that's it. Um, then you will go into the pending area and you will find it and you can either approve it or reject it. If it's approved, it'll show up in here. Also, on the embed code tab, you also have another code and that's to display the approved videos. So you can have just the whole playlist and anytime you approve it, it'll be immediately updated. And then you can also uh, use this RSS feed to be notified anytime somebody submits something. So what does that mean? Well, that means that if you have, uh, you could have a contest, a video contest. Say, all right, everybody upload it to this playlist um, and then we'll vote on them or whatever, you know. You could do something like that. So there's a lot of different ideas. Uh, toss them around, but it's very simple to do. It's just with simple code and it's all from YouTube Direct Lite. Now, why is it called YouTube Direct Lite? Well, there actually is also uh, YouTube Direct the regular version and that uh, that is a little bit more advanced and a little bit more um, it's way beyond what we need it for also there's the hosting your own version which means that you can you can actually take this code and put it on your website and now what would you use that for you would use that if you had a very very popular site and um, you're going to get a lot of submissions. Uh, also, if you put it on your own website, uh, you also can uh, customize it more with, uh, you know, the, the uploader and stuff like that. So you could actually really use it to add to your branding. Anyway, it's just another cool thing that YouTube offers. And uh, if you think of any other interesting ways to use it, feel free to let me know because I'm always interested. And if you have any more questions, put them in the comments. Thanks.